All right, I'm going to show you how, and I should have done this while I was doing it, but I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it. I'm going to show you how my power switch went out on this Dr. Infrared heater. Well, they wanted like, what, 25 bucks for another one? And um, I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. And then five or six bucks for the plastic piece? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk you through it. Take just a minute. This toggle switch on the back side has two screw ports um, for the negative and the positive. So I had to figure out, because both lines were black, in this heater, I had to figure out which one was negative and positive. All right. So I cut the corners out. Got my screws out. And I'm not worried about this because, like I said, we bought another one. And I'll use this outside for when it's cold out. So, and this is fine. So I pull this out. Um, I go to Ace, get this. What came out of it is a 10, 19 amp. This one is a 10, 20 amp. It's large, but it works. And I paid like 750 for it. Um, there's a black line that runs back up in the here. That was the negative. And the black line that runs in the front and around, apparently, is the positive. So what I did is I bought um, all ring terminals. So I cut the lines, spliced it, crimped them down in the ring terminals, and put the ring terminals on the back of this. I bought this extra washer here for the front at Ace, 23 cent. But what I had to do is when you take this off, you'll see on the back of this, that power switch that holds it in, there are plastic clamps. I took wire cutters and cut them as close as I could get it. And she worked. It was pretty simple. Oh, when this negative one, when you go to strip that wire, hold the wire with one hand because I pulled it off the back. It has a female to a male. I pulled it off the back, so I had to take the, the bottom and then take that back plate off inside to hook it back up. So you should start heating up. So you're heating up. Like I say, the, at Ace, it's going to be a little different in Lowe's. They're not going to have as many of these. This is basically the biggest one they had. You can see it's a, that, that's a good inch and a half and then turn it off cut it back on not a bad fix um, I wouldn't with me doing what I did I wouldn't use it inside and let it run all night so, not until I used it outside for a while anyway. So, but I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, I should have done the the um, the video as I was doing it, but I wasn't sure it was going to work. But I, like I say, talk you through it. This piece, you have to trim the back of this off. I have an extra washer to cover the that hole. This size up, this is not big enough. I hope I help somebody.